I am uh, at peace with that decision. Um, it has been very hard for me. I have certainly had so many sleepless nights. Um, you guys, you know, I know everybody knows me as a strong woman, but also uh, please know I'm human and I have hurt and I have cried and I've had the most sleepless nights. I have thought absolutely crazy some nights. Um, it has been a very, very emotional roller coaster. It's not anything. Guys, welcome back to Sisters Talk TV. Before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, check us out on Instagram at Sisters Talk TV. So, we have a lot of things to talk about, especially following up on this Real Housewives of Potomac reunion and just a lot of things going on. So, recently, Nene has put out a kind of a change slash boycott on boycotting bravo you know especially concerning the way that they portray black women and how they treat black women and this was definitely evident especially on this real housewives of potomac review on this real housewives of potomac reunion concerning bravo andy and it really displayed the kind of biasness um gaslighting that he showed on this reunion and Nene has talked about this over the summer especially the way that you know the network has treated her um black women are they help build the network Real Housewives of Atlanta is one of the most successful shows on Bravo currently and has been one of the most successful shows on Bravo for almost for the last 12 years and Nini Lanithia Leakes has been one of the pioneers, especially concerning like housewives, on building the brand Real Housewives of Atlanta, Bravo. So she's talked about this, but a lot of people didn't really want to listen because they felt that this that Nini only wanted to talk about the situation when it favored her. But this thing is happening as well, you know especially on Potomac, we can definitely see that. Um, especially in terms of using the word, we talk about the word aggressive and um, the portrayal of that angry black women narrative when it fits someone else's argument, then that is when it's okay. But when if it doesn't fit into someone else's argument, it's not okay. So I definitely think this is definitely a conversation that we really need to have. Nini is having... Um, she's going live tonight, especially with um, attorney Crump. So she's talking about um, how black women should definitely boycott Bravo. And it's a lot of things going on. And we can definitely see like this being evident, especially if portrayed, like how it's portrayed in Potomac. Guys, um, it's a lot. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that Nini has an argument for black women boycott and bravo? Or do you guys think it's only because she is not on the show anymore? It's a conversation that we really need to have and we need to really talk about it because personally I think that Nini does have a good point, but I can see where people can see that people can say like it's only benefiting her, you know? But black women especially atlanta and potomac are one of the top rated housewives franchise they are so we need to have a conversation we need to really talk about it all right guys thank you guys so much for subscribing continue to support us like our video also subscribe to our channel it really helps our algorithm thank you guys so much peace love and blessing uh, at peace with that decision. Um, it has been very hard for me. I have certainly had so many sleepless nights. Um, you guys, you know, I know everybody knows me as a strong woman, but also uh, please know I'm human and I have hurt and I have cried and I've had the most sleepless nights. I have thought absolutely crazy some nights. Um, it has been a very, very emotional roller coaster. And it's not anything that I just woke up one morning and decided to do. Um, 